Well, U.S. troops may be leaving Iraq, but the administration is planning to build up uh, in the Gulf to compensate. And how does the administration further isolate Iran as it apparently pursues possible nuclear weapons? With us this morning, an exclusive, the former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Louis Frey, uh, who has been very active in the Iranian issue in the past few weeks. Uh, Mr. Director, welcome. Thanks for joining us on the Fox News Channel this morning. Good morning. Good to see you. You know, I mean, they just seem so brazen. You've got this terrorist assassination case. They defy U.N. sanctions. What can we do, do you think, about Iran? Yeah. Well, the regime does not want normal relations. I mean, we've heard this uh, for 30 years. Uh, Hatemi is a moderate, and if we would just uh, pull some punches and give them some running room, uh, things would be fine. Their nuclear programs, uh, their IRGC export of terrorism, the latest example, as you cite, uh, a brazen plan to uh, attack the ambassador from Saudi Arabia right here in Washington, D.C., which, by the way, is very similar to the IRGC operation in 1992 in Germany. You remember the Mykonos restaurant, uh, four Kurdish uh, leaders were assassinated. It went right back to the IRGC, right up to the Supreme Leader. So our policy has not worked, and I think we ought to take advantage of some opportunities to not just isolate Iran diplomatically, I don't know what that means, we've heard that from the State Department, but to really promote uh, active resistance uh, to the regime. And we have some opportunities to do that, as uh, we've said publicly now for some time, uh, the MEK group, which is a organized, peaceful uh, resistance movement to the regime, headquartered in Iraq, uh, 3,400 people at risk. Uh, they've been attacked now twice by Iraqi forces, um, at the uh, behest of the Iranian regime. Um, very serious uh, risk to their lives, uh, but more importantly, a great opportunity for the U.S. to really uh, declare and support uh, a resistance movement to this regime. The regime is terrified of this group because this is the organized resistance to its power. You know, so... You, I'm sorry, sorry. Don't interrupt. Go ahead. No, so uh, a lot of us, uh, former government officials, former... Uh, CIA directors, former NATO commanders, former national security advisors to the president, ambassadors to the UN, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff have been pushing and urging uh, the administration and the Secretary of State to delist this group, as the Europeans have done, uh, as the UK has done, uh, and again, this, uh, this notion that, uh, you know, we can have some normalization or have some ability to communicate with this regime, which is absolutely um, out of the question. And, and finally, uh, uh, briefly, you're, as you said, the former director of the FBI, you were a, a judge, you were a U.S. attorney who helped uh, attack the mafia here in New York City. Do you believe that Iranian agents are here now and that they can possibly p be planning a t potential terrorist attacks uh, based on your experience? Absolutely. They, they're here. They've infiltrated us. Uh, when I was director, at the same time, the State Department put this group on the list. We didn't think it was a good idea. Uh, by the way, on that list uh, is not the uh, Kani network or al Sadr's uh, Mahdi army, who've been killing Americans uh, for 10 years. But, you know, when they put uh, the MEK on the list, they also told us to stop fingerprinting the Iranian wrestlers who were newly invited to the U.S. And we said, well, uh, in those wrestling teams, you know, the guy that doesn't look quite like a wrestler, he's the MIS agent. He's the Iranian intelligence <laughs> agent in the United States. So, yeah, I mean, they've been here, they're active here, and uh, this is just the latest example of, uh, of the brazenness and the terrorism of the regime. All right, well, they kicked two guys out from the UN uh, Iranian mission a couple of years ago, apparently taking videos of bridges and subways. So, uh, as you say, they apparently are here. Uh, Louis Free, former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, we thank you for taking the time to join us this morning uh, here thank on you the very Fox much. News Channel.